Cheers from Japan, I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard. Unfortunately, I don't have any coffee this morning. It's Saturday morning, but I woke up to something that got the juices flowing, if you know what I mean. I got this box in. Um, woke me up, doorbell ring. Uh, I was like, okay, wasn't expecting a package today. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a big package. Uh, what could this be? Uh, it couldn't be the thing that I just ordered yesterday afternoon, less than 24 hours ago. That wouldn't make any sense. I uh, had even paid for the damn thing. That was something I just put a pre-order in for. Well, anyway, let's open it up and see what's inside. Ah. That's what I pre-ordered yesterday. And I didn't even pay for it yet. And it's already here less than 24 hours before. I order After I ordered it. What the heck? What is it, you ask? Get out of here, box. It's this. Look at this. Oh, I should probably move this out of the way. Look at this. Yeah, that is the brand new uh, mail order, mail away, Japan only, um, 30 centimeter uh, Godzilla Sakura color, Sakura cherry blossom glow in the dark figure. Um, yeah, and it's jumbo size. I'm gonna compare it to some other figures here in just a second, but uh, let's crack it open and uh, let's see. Try not to damage the header card too much. All the header cards are pretty much the same though, so it's not a big diff big iffy. But this one's uh, the first one that I've gotten from Marusan that has a uh, 2020 on it. So as you know, if you watch my videos, I do collect Marusan J Tail uh, Godzillas. And when I saw this glow-in-the-dark pink one that was jumbo-sized, I was like, yeah, that's all me, boy. All right, let's stick him up here. Uh, let me adjust my camera so we can get his whole body in there. All right. Let's move this junk out of the way. All right. So there he is. Let's give him a full 360 here. So, yeah, he's glow-in-the-dark. He's got a bright pink spray. Uh, so he's got that kind of whitish yellow and, and pink, so he's supposed to resemble a sakura or cherry blossom uh, blooming. And he's got silver spray down his spines, and then he's got um, gold teeth, which is cool, and red eyes, red mouth. I dig the colors on this. I haven't tried it. It's still morning. I haven't really tried to see what he looks like glowing yet, um, and that usually doesn't come up very well on camera unless I do a lot of meddling. But uh, let's also take a quick look at him next to another recent uh, acquisition. Uh, my standard size glow-in-the-dark unpainted Marasan Godzilla. And then I've also got just a standard size unpainted uh, yellow Marasan Godzilla. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, he's, he's quite a bit taller than these guys. Uh, which is this part of the selling point. Um, this was actually double the price of what they normally sell their pre-orders for. Their pre-orders are usually a little over a hundred bucks, uh, which is that that's like re a recent thing. They they haven't always been that expensive. Um, these blanks are usually a little bit cheaper, but this was uh, well over two hundred bucks if you wanted to pre-order it. Of course, you can only pre-order it here. So I am still taking pre-order uh, requests. I can probably get a couple more of these, and there's also a, a hetera. Um, so if you need one of these, let me know. But let me tell you, it's going to be well over 200 bucks if you want one. So just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, one more comparison I wanted to do with this guy was with the... Um, this was produced a decade or so, or more than a decade ago, maybe 15 years ago. Uh, Marosan had done this other jumbo-sized uh, Godzilla. Actually, I'm probably going to have to take this off of here. This guy right here. Well, maybe I can fit them both on here. Let's see. I'm gonna have to adjust my camera. Let's see if I can get him full frame. He is a he is a big boy. He's the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest toy I own. Um, so I believe he is. I have his box up there somewhere. I forgot what they exactly. I I could have sworn they said he was 30 centimeters. Maybe he was a bit more. But um, I I was thinking that this was going to be about the same size, but actually, uh, he is slightly shorter. But if we put him next to this one. So you get a, a scale of all three of these. You kind of get a nice little ascending order of sizes there. So it's really cool. I can have a nice little display set up with these guys. Um, and I've, I've still got several other JTEL Marasans in there. So maybe I will do a uh, Marasan only 
display case because I don't really have that going right now. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share this really quick. I was excited. I was talking to my buddy Nick uh, from the Godzilla Collectors Group, and uh, he was like, new video now! So here you go, Nick. Check it out. Um, this weekend, I will be stuck at home again, so I do plan on making some more videos. Uh, hopefully not as rushed as this, so I can actually have some more in-depth, uh, better shots. I know I'm just kind of filming off the cuff in my tatami room because my daughter's in the next room uh, watching TV, and she insisted that I leave that room, even though I prefer to film in that room. Well, anyway, uh, let me know if you want one of these. Uh, hit me up on Facebook, uh, Instagram. You can find me all at uh, Tokyo Toy Bastard if you search any of those things. Um, or if you go to my blog, which I linked that below, it's got all my email and contact information. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you leave a nice comment, a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other toy hunting videos. I just put up one a couple days ago uh, because, you know, I do a lot more than just sit here and talk about toys uh, that I got in. Although I do do a lot of that too. But anyway, see you next time. Adios.